On the inside, another one of the top modified drivers from around the nation. He's out of Torrance, California, races all over the country. That's the 5L, Cody Laney. Starting next to Cody, you're going to find the 572 out of Imperial Beach, Devin Falkner. Row number four on the inside, it's going to be the number 36 car. That's Bill Miller out of Yuma, Arizona. Next to him, you're going to find car number 14. That's Blake Thornell. Blake is from Apple Valley. In row number five on the inside, another two-time Superstock champ here at Paris Auto Speedway, the 97B. He is out of Riverside. That's Chad Burns. With him in that row, starting right behind his son, the 07T out of Apple Valley, Randy Thornell. In the sixer on the inside, it's a straight-up 28 car. He's from Lakeside, California. A couple of years ago, Lucas Oil modified champion. That's Matthew Hicks. And next to him, great to see her back at Paris Auto Speedway, racing for the first time in years out of Torrance, the 96, Carla Laney. Round number seven on the inside, the 3AC car from Perup, Nevada. That's Austin Kiefer. Next Austin, it is the 1R car from San Diego, Rolls-Royce Henry. Row number eight on the inside, you're going to find the number 50 car. 50 car is Steven Bam Bam Fengmeyer out of Lake Elsinore. And outside him, the 29, two-time champion of the past, Chuck Becker out of Yakaipa. Next to the last row, that's row number nine on the inside. The 31 out of Riverside won the B main event, David Clark. Next to David, the 59, the 14-year-old out of Perup, Nevada, Colin Hibden. And in the back row, row number 10 on the inside, it's going to be the number 93 car, that's Kyle Morris out of Ramona. And rounding out the field, another past champion, the 25X car from Buena Park, Billy Griffin. Here we go. Standing by for the green flag. Out of turn number four, we're racing. Kelsey Foley was leading across the line, doing a little bobbling in the corner on the outside, trying to take the lead away, and he does a double zero. Corey Sample fits in third, Cody Laney fourth, Terry Hersberger fifth as we get ready to complete lap number one. 29 remaining. Cody Laney keeps it on the inside line. Going to the inside of Foley. Three abreast coming off turn number two. Fitz gets shuffled to the wall. Laney takes over second. Terry Hersberger moves into fourth in the 70 car. Two laps down, 28 to go. Sixth spot, it's Matthew Hicks. Seventh spot, it's the number 36 car. That's Bill Miller. Falkner running eighth, ninth spot. And we got a car around in turn number two in front of the Budweiser sign on the inside of the racetrack. Believe that's the 97B car of Chad Burns. Getting ready to go green. Your leader is Sample. Second spot, Laney. Third spot, actually, Cody Laney. Because mom in the field. Got to keep them straight. Foley third. Fitz fourth. Hertzberger fifth. Sixth spot, it is Hicks. Seventh spot, it is the 36 car. That is Miller. Eighth spot, Falconer. Ninth spot, it is Blake Thornell. Tenth spot, his father, Randy Thornell. Green flag. Cody Laney driving to the inside, going to be the new leader off turn two, maybe. Sample hanging tough down the back chute. Now Sample edges him into turn number three. Side by side, coming off turn number four. New leader is going to be Cody Laney. Matthew Hicks breaks into the top five. He's actually up to fourth now. That's a 28 car. Sets his sights on third place, Foley. Fitz, boy, he's way up by the crash straw through three and four and fifth. Now Hicks a good run on the inside of Kelsey Foley. Corey Sample and Laney change lines. Running position remains the same. Now Laney's starting to pull away as they go into turn number three on the fifth lap.
Matthew Hicks firmly in third now, but he's nearly a half straight away behind the second place car, the double zero of Corey Sample. Lap traffic still a ways away for the leaders. Laney a full straightaway behind the first lap car. Blake Thornell, the 14T car, trying to break into the top five. He's up to challenge Fitz. And Blake Thornell moves into fifth. Leader Laney still closing in on lap traffic as we work the 10th lap. Fitz trying to come around the back of Thornell. They're both trying to attack Kelsey Foley. Foley running fourth in the 44. Blake Thornell to the inside line gets back by Fitz. Move the 14 BT to fifth. Now Cody Laney has caught the back markers. Sample second, he's a half straightaway behind the leader in the 28 cars closing in on him. No problem for Laney getting past the first lap car, that's Chad Burns. Car slowing on the back straightaway, now he's back under power, that's Terry Hersberg of the 70. Blake Thornell, the 14 BT, goes to fourth as he gets by Kelsey Foley. Cody Laney now a lot of heavy lap traffic in front of him. Laney into turn number one. Car slowing on the back straight. That's the 96 of Carla Laney. And she's going to take him back to the pit area. Well, it's a long way back from the third place car. That is Hicks to the fourth place car, Thornell. It's a full straightaway. Halfway the next Not time. Lot. Lot. Here comes the halfway point. Your leader at the halfway point, 100 bucks for Jason Blue, goes to Cody Laney. Second spot is Sample at the halfway point. Third is Hicks. Car around in turn number four. And we go yellow. Kelsey Foley got into it. Hibden got into it. The first car to go around was Fitz in the 28. Jason Blue's money was in Katie, Cody Laney's pocket for a moment. He's got to do it again. That's the leader of lap 15. Cody Laney brings him to the cone in turn number four, about ready to go green. We're racing. Everybody on the bottom, Matthew Hicks, a 28 car, trying to run the top. Cody Laney pulling away down the back straight away from Corey Sample. At the halfway point, Jason Blue's $100 goes to Cody Laney for a second time. Second spot sample, third Hicks, fourth Blake Flornell, then it's Foley followed by Kiefer. Then Hibden, then Randy Thornell, Stephen Fangmeyer from, I believe, the 15th spot, then Rolls Royce Henry. Hicks taking a look at the inside of sample. Hicks on the bottom, sample on the wide line. He 
and Sample still maintaining second. Boy, the guy who's charging is Fangmeyer. Fangmeyer started this one in 15th. He's now up to 8th. Three abreast coming off the corner. That was Fangmeyer, Randy Thornell, and Hibden. Nineteen down, eleven to go. Look at the pack run at the very back in this one. That'd be a great race. Ten laps remaining for Cody Laney. Fangmeyer up into the wall and turns three and four. Oh, look out, look out. He's getting it off the racetrack. Tough break for him. He may have been the hard charger at this point. We're yellow, we're yellow, we're yellow. Hopefully the last yellow flag of the night. Green flag. Oh, and they're just beating on each other coming off turn four. Somehow they keep them straight, so we stay green. Corey Sample to the inside of Cody Laney. Laney a better drive off turn number two back into the lead. Corey Sample gave it a great shot, but Laney fought him off. Now Sample getting challenged by the 28. Matthew Hicks again for second. Three AC, Austin Kiefer now up to fourth. Problems for Fangmeyer. Hopefully he gets it off the racetrack so we can continue racing. Looks like he's going to. Car around, that's Kyle Morris in turn four. He gets it back on the racetrack. And new second place driver, Matthew Hicks. But Corey Sample slides it right back in front of him, takes second back. Now Hicks takes a second spot back. While they're duking it out, that allows Cody Laney to inch a little further away. Kiefer trying to reel in fellow Nevadan. Sample for third. There'll be five to go next time by. Matthew Hicks into the wall. Second place car into the wall. Costs him. He drops back now to sixth, seventh. He's going to be done. Stops right in front of the Vista paint sign. That was Matthew Hicks, who was running in second. Had a good run going Matthew for him. Matthew Hicks passed Lucas Oil modified champion. Takes it back to the pit area. Good run. Six laps to go. Your leader. She's been saying it almost all race long. Cody Laney, Corey Sample second, Austin Kiefer third, Blake Thornell fourth, Kelsey Foley back to fifth. Okay, lights are out, you're coming to green. Remember, nose to tail, no pass until you pass the cone. Here we go. Green flag. And a good restart by Cody Laney. Everybody ran a huggy pole around the bottom. Now here comes Austin Kiefer in the 3AC car trying to challenge Corey Sample for second. Cody Laney stretches his lead to about five car lengths. Sample now trying the wide line through one and two. Laney keeps it pinned to the bottom. Four laps to go. Three. 
Three to go this time by nearly a half straightaway lead. Kiefer still third, Blake Thornell fourth, Foley fifth, Hibden sixth, Randy Thornell seventh, Henry eighth, ninth spot Griffin, Terry Hirschberger back up to 10th. Two laps to go for Cody Laney. White flag the next time by. Half straightaway lead. He's going to take the white flag from Kevin Winters. One to go for Cody. Now he's back around the top through one and two. Down the back straightaway, final time. He's gonna get 1,500 bucks to win, plus 200 for leading two laps in the race. The win's gonna go to Cody Laney. Second spot, Sample. Third spot goes to Kiefer. Fourth spot, Blake Thornell. Fifth, Foley. Sixth, Hibden. Seventh spot, Randy Thornell. Eighth spot goes to Griffin. Ninth, the Hersberger. Tenth spot goes to Clark. And no time on that one due to the yellow flags. Double zero, three AC, and 14 BT to the front straightaway. He can hear you, $1,700 to the winner, Cody Laney. Tom Gillum? Now he's got to talk to me. Congratulations, that was a hell of a drive. Thank you. Uh, I don't know, we were pretty good there in the beginning and got by Corey and... Um, I guess that second to last restart or whatever, I, he was hanging with me and uh, I just kept watching my dad and he, moved, he was moving me around the racetrack and uh, I knew he was pretty close behind me and I know he's good here and uh, thank you, thank you. Um, I just got to thank uh, everybody who helps me out. My mom, my dad, uh, Bartels Holly Davidson, Premier Services, Integrity Chuck and um, Integra Shocks, CPD Race and Shocks. Uh, Ibox Springs are all here tonight. Uh, Needles Auto Wrecking, Rage Chassis. Um, everybody helps us out. I just can't thank them enough. Well, you earned this one tonight. It was a hard fought battle the whole way. Yeah, the racetrack was pretty fast there in the beginning, and it started slowing down. And um, you just kind of had to be patient there on the bottom down there and um, just try not to make no mistakes. Well, there's your winner IMCA modified. Second place winner. A little rough out there. Yeah, it was. It, uh, Cody did a good job. Best car won tonight, hands down. So it, uh, we got to get a little bit better. I'm just not good in this choppy stuff. So it gets you searching and uh, um, definitely have fun. That's a, at the end of the day, I know it's all about racing, but it is about still having fun. Oh, yeah, that's what it's always about. You know, you got to enjoy every day and move on to the next one, and tomorrow will be a new day. And you're hauling up to where now? Uh, Northern California. It'd be Susanville, California. For, for tomorrow? Yep. We'll be safe. Congratulations. Thanks. Got it. I gotta thank all my sponsors, Full Throttle Automotive, Awesome Construction, my dad, Leland, Prump Sanitation, uh, Golden Empire Towing, and everybody else that make, makes this possible for me.